What's up everyone? On today's video, we're going to be showing you how to install the rear W brace for the 350Z G35. But it's not me doing the install, it's my brother Joel Fillets over at JFP Automotive. He's going to be giving you guys a step-by-step -step on how to install the rear W brace. And remember to head over to our last video, our new shop car, for a chance to win our giveaway and to help us reach our goal of a thousand subscribers, which is when we will announce the winner of the giveaway. Enjoy today's video. Hi guys, it's Joel from JFP Automotive. We're here to install the FDF rear W brace on this 2004 G35. We're gonna show you what you need to take it off and install the new one. Uh, here I have the brace laid out in front of me. Uh, it comes with six new M8 bolts for the rear of the brace and it comes with four new M10 bolts for the front of the brace. You're gonna need a 10 mil socket, a 12 mil socket, and a 14 mil socket, and a ratchet or an electric impact to uninstall and install this. So let's take a look at how to take the old one off. So you'll notice here, this has, uh, I've already taken the plastic pieces off this car. It doesn't have them uh, right now, but you will not reuse the plastic covers on the rear of the W brace. So that's what the 10 mil socket's for. I've already gone ahead and taken that one off. So now we're gonna remove the rear eight mil bolts. you set those aside, you're not gonna reuse them. And now we'll take the front ones off. I've already taken the front two bolts off, so it's only got two holding it on. And then the brace comes off. Now, before you put the new one on, you're gonna to wanna to take a pair of pliers and just open up these little catches here at the back. The new brace is a little bit thicker because it's aluminum. And this is just what supports the back here. So we'll take the brace. Use the new longer 30 mil M10 bolts for the front. And then we'll take the longer M8 bolts for the back here. You'll see this brace is actually loose because I've had it off already. And now you can snug all the bolts up. And it's always a good idea if you're using power tools to check by hand, make sure that they are torqued properly. And that's that. 